What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today... We're going to go over some market talk as per usual. We're going to go over what's going on with the market and what content might possibly drop. So we're going to go over the market. We're going to tell you what to do, how to prepare, what site builders to do and whatnot. Before we get into the video, let's get 120 likes on this one. As per usual, man, make sure to drop that like like I already said. Drop the sub because we do post two times a day minimum. And turn on those noti bells. And also follow my Twitter for MT giveaways. It's that simple. Also, man... Uh, before we get into this video, we're going to run this ad. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. And yeah, today, there is some stuff to talk about. We got um, possible content drop. This is pre-recorded, by the way. Um, we got a possible content drop. We got some market trend talk. We also got some snipe filters for you guys. So pretty much a lot in this video. Um, as per usual, man, we, every time new content I think is about to drop, I always post videos on that. Uh, I did content. We'll see how it goes, though. So uh, without further ado, honestly, before we get into it, let's get lucky. Let's pop this pack, bro. Tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day. We won't have to pull packs for it, bro. It's a lucky day. The leprechauns are here, bro, and we get an all-bronze pack on our lucky day. Oh, my God, bro. That's such an L. But, okay, let's get into the market. Let me tell you what you guys should be doing and what I think is going to happen. So, if you guys do not know, Opals are actually up a lot besides AI. KD's up a ton. Um, I saw oneself at 550 earlier. He's now around 450. He was 350 the other day. I think it was Friday when they had that massive content drop. Opals are definitely up. Vince Carter is around 180. He's around 220, 240, 260. So, thinking about this right now, Curry, first of all, if you remember when he first dropped, he was 180. He's at 400. So, if you have Steph Curry and you're sane, sell him because this card is nothing compared to Giannis, Galaxy Obo, Ben Simmons, and Pink Dying English LeBron. Yes, it's Curry. He's amazing at shooting. But, dude, in this game, if you honestly don't have a big point guard and you're rocking with Curry... At 400,000 MT, you got to be insane. Like, you got to be crazy. So, first off, sell him. Get rid of Curry. He's not worth it. And not only that, he does miss a lot of open jump shots. At least when I had him. Okay. Next. Get rid of Tracy McGrady Opal. Why do I say this? He's going to get outdated one day. And not only that, man. The pink diamond jump. Like, it's not a big jump. And if you want to save freaking 300k and pick up the pink diamond, it's 99.99 too. Like the gold badges to the Hall of Fame badges isn't that big a difference in my opinion. Yeah, some of you are going to disagree, but for the 300,000 MT that you have, you could literally almost pick up a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the pink diamond Tracy McGrady. So that's another tip to you guys that I really do recommend. Um also, if you didn't sell your cards, Either today, if they don't draw content tomorrow, sell on the next day. You always want to have your team sold before content drops. This is my theory. This is how I make so much MT. This is how I do it every single day, every single week. So if you guys don't know, usually Thursday, Friday, something comes out, which creates a market crash, depending on what drops. If it's super packs, I usually stack up a ton of super cards or um, like prime. Let's say it's prime super packs. That's, I get a ton of prime cards. I just stack them up. Stack them up literally later that day or even the next day. I sell all of them early in the morning or late at night. But the, the day before, more content drops and I make thousands of MT. Like for instance, two weeks ago, I picked up a ton of Boshes for around 60K, a ton of Birds for around 80K, 70K. Ended up selling them in one of my videos. And it was like a video on how I made so much MT. I made 200K MT off a couple Birds and Boshes. Off the Boshes, I made 30k off three of them. I mean, 30k off each of them. I got three or four, sold them for around 120k. Bird got them for 75, sold them for 100k. That was hours later. I sold them later that day. So if Super Packs do drop, that's what you should do. That's one tip to you guys. Also, man, if they drop any Fire Packs, like if they have crazy 
<clears throat> St. Patrick's Day content. If they drop St. Patrick's Day content, bro, I honestly think it could be a huge market crash if they drop really good cards. Like, if they have a, a St. Patrick's Day content with two opals, a couple pink diamonds, and a couple diamonds, and some Amis, market's going to crash, man. Honestly, in my opinion, we really only have a couple dominant centers. Two of them come out of the auction block. One's off the, I mean, two of them come out of the token market. One of them comes out of the center Galaxy Opals, which is Kareem. And then, honestly, the other OP center, in my opinion, is Hakeem Olajuwon. In my opinion, we really only have five really, really good centers. I'll talk about top-of-the-line centers. Point guards, bro. We got Giannis, LeBron, Zach Levine. We got a ton of them. And honestly, bro, people are still running this Bam in their lineups because he's that good. It just shows that there's not that many good centers in the game. And honestly, I feel like they're going to have to drop something. If they do drop content tomorrow, I'm expecting a Galaxy Opal. Or today, I should say, I'm expecting a Galaxy Opal center if they do drop one, possibly a Galaxy Opal Garnet. That is so, I feel like that's the most predictable thing I've said all day. If they drop that, expect Kareem's price to dip. Because if you don't know, when they dropped this Giannis card, it was really OP. But then they followed up with a Galaxy Opal Ben Simmons. So clearly, Giannis' price is going to drop from a million MT to whatever. So pretty much, when there's max out cards, like, best shooting guard in the game is Tracy McGrady. So now, if they drop another shooting guard, Galaxy Opal, that's this good, like, I don't know, maybe a Kobe. I mean, they're never going to drop Kobe because his contract's up. And I don't think they want to talk to Vanessa about that because that's kind of screwed up if they talk about 2K contracts while his death was insane. But this right here is something you got to think about. So every time a new card does drop, it affects that card. So if you guys have Opals and, like, you don't want to risk it, first off, the market's high. So I would definitely recommend selling... It's just some tips I'm giving you, man. Like, this isn't lying. Like, straight up, when Ben Simmons first dropped, he was a mil. Now he's 500K. His price has cut in half in days. Two days, three days. Cut in half. Giannis, bro. He was a million points. 1.1 mil MT at a point. I don't know why I didn't sell him. Honestly, I was the biggest mistake. It's also because he's my favorite player in the NBA by far. All-time favorite player is Giannis. But from his price, from a mil point one to around 500K, it's crazy. Like I said, man. The more they release opals, the more the market crashes. Not only that, pink diamonds are losing their value. So what I'm saying is, literally, bro, sell your cards and thank me later. Sell your cards because even if they don't drop content, you're still going to make that MT. And not only that, I would say keep your cards if you have over 300,000 MT to work with. Because with 300,000 MT, you can invest in cards safely. And honestly, if you invest 200K worth of cards, you could probably make 100K. And then you could keep 100k there just in case you want to snipe on the oval filter. Just some recommendations for you guys. Like, there's literally so much to do in this game. And one of my favorite things to do is talk about the market strategically. Like, I'm saying this very, like, this is no lie, man. It's all about trends. Right now, the market's trending up. When it's trending up, you kind of sometimes, you could take an L because it could trend up later. But might as well take the W while you can because you never know what 2k could drop. Like, for instance, bro... If you guys remember, I said sell all cards, something's coming. You remember when they dropped the first Galaxy Opals in December or late January when it was Opal Vince and MJ? First off, everyone was on the game. The first Opals came out. The market went dead dead. Now, if they have content tomorrow with two or three Opals, one including a center, you're going to see something crazy happen. And I literally just want to prepare you guys. And honestly... Probably one of the best videos to prepare you guys. No one in the game, no one in the My Team community prepares you guys as much as I do. And I just love spreading my feed and my knowledge to you guys. Because honestly, you guys need it. Some of you guys are new. Some of you guys aren't. But honestly, a lot of my subs are here because I do spread the knowledge. And they make a lot of MT on what I say. That's all I'm saying. Oh, that's a snipe. 170 for him. Oh, that is a snag. But yeah, man. That's really all I got for the video. And honestly, I really just hope you guys did enjoy... Because I thought, I think I put eno enough knowledge into you guys. Like, you guys can honestly, hopefully agree with me. And I really hope my tips do work out. And pretty much sell your cards. Get ready for some possible market crash coming. And without further ado, man, that's really all I got for the video. I hope to see you guys tomorrow, the next day, later, whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.